welcome dear student in this lecture we have to see programming language fundamental component to design good program and types of a uh, programming language that is lower level programming language middle level programming language and higher level programming language first what is a programming language the programming language consist of set of instruction programming language consist of a set of instruction that produce various kind of output generally programming language are used in computer programming to implement the algorithm or we can say that the programming language are used in computer programming to implement the flow chart also now programming language involve input processing and output the the processing is a carried out over input and it produce the various kind of a output so, so these three things are very important in case of a programming language now the fundamental components of a good program design are first it gives program specification there must be program specification there must be specific input specific procedure and specific output write algorithm which refine the specification or we can say that write or draw flow chart which refine the specification translate specification in executable program okay here the algorithm or flow chart develop the logic of a programmer so that we can translate the specification in executable program program execution and testing during which you refine the program and find error in this case the simulation is carried out so we can use debugging that is to remove the error and after that there must be good uh, program documentation next now we have to see the types of a programming language there are three types of programming language first is lower level programming language second is middle level programming language and third is higher level programming language lower level pro programming language this is assembly level language it is also known as machine level language the lower level programming language is assembly level language and it is also known as a lower it is also known as machine level language it provide little or no abstraction mm -hmm. from a computer instruction set architecture then the this language is called low level because small or non existent amount of abstraction is required between the language and machine language this language is a close to hardware the set of instruction are directly executed by cpu then each instruction perform specific task on unit of a data in a cpu register or memory so there are so many instruction which perform the specific task on data 
which is present in a CPU register or in memory. Each program which have series of instruction is executed by CPU. Then second language is a higher level language. This is a programming language which is a strong abstraction from the details of the computer such as register, memory, address and call stack. It deals with various array, object, complex arithmetic that is a boolean expression that is arithmetic operation that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, then ending, oring, xoring. These processes are carried out. Also there is a subroutine, function, loop, trades, then locks, etc. etc. which is a focus on usability over optimal program efficiency. Then these languages are easy to understand and user friendly. Higher level language is uh, very easy to understand and it is user friendly. The instruction set of this language is a more compatible with human language and human to thought process. The string handling routing object oriented language feature and the file input output may be also present in this uh, language. The program written in higher level language must be translated in machine level language before it is executed. So, this language is more compatible with human level language. So, it, this is converted into the coded form. Okay? So that, so that uh, it is higher level language is converted or translated in a machine level language before it is uh, executed. So it is in a coded form before execution. Next language, uh, this is the uh, examples of a higher level language that is a basic Pascal, Java, these are the uh, higher level language. Next is a middle level language. This is closely related to machine level language and it is a user friendly. This language is a bridge gap between lower level language and higher level language. Therefore, it is known as a middle level language because it is a bridge gap between low level language and high level language. Then C programming is a middle level language. There are some features of a C programming language. C language support assembly language program. Assembly level language program, it is uh, in low level language actually. Then C language can directly access system register. System register, um, then C language can directly access memory and pointer. These, these two are features of a, a higher level language. Okay. C language support higher level language features. C language is more friendly. Okay. 